Hi and welcome to the how-to guide brought to you by NetAngel. In this episode we're going to talk you through roadblocks. In episode 2 we're going to show you how to set up the security and privacy settings. Using your desired Internet Explorer navigate to roadblock.com. You're now presented with the Roblox sign up window and this gives you the opportunity to create an account. However, we're going to sign up once we've installed it. It also gives you insight to the devices that it's available on. So Microsoft, Xbox One, Amazon Play Store, Google Play and the Apple App Store. In this example, we're using Microsoft. So go ahead and select Get It From Microsoft. You're now presented with the install window via the Microsoft Store. So the information provided, it gives you the PEGI rating, which is an age rating of 7. It tells you that there is fear and mild violence in the games. There is user interaction and there are in-game purchases. Select more for more information about Roblox. Select install to install Roblox on your computer. Once installed, select play to launch the game. Now select sign up. You're now required to enter the details about your child, starting with their date of birth. You're now required to enter your child's username. So the recommendation is don't use any real names or surnames. Once you've done this, create a password for your child and then you need to enter the password again just to confirm that they are the same. You do have the option there to select your child's gender, but this is optional. Once complete, select sign up. You're now presented with a list of games that your child can play straight away. You'll also notice in the bottom right hand corner you'll see the chat window and what this means is that your child can start chatting to, well if they've got friends on there they can start chatting to them but it also means that they can chat to strangers, people that they don't know and this is why it's important as a parent that we look at the um, privacy and the security settings on Roblox. By doing this, it will allow you to set up the appropriate settings for your child's age. Select the cog in the top right hand corner of your screen and select settings. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to add a parent's email address. So go ahead and select add parent email. Now enter your email address. You'll also require to enter the password that you just set the account up with. Once done, select add email. You now receive confirmation an email has been sent for verification. You need to open the email and then you need to select verify to confirm that it is the correct email address. So now it'll open up your default internet browser and you'll receive a message saying thank you along with a free gift. So what you need to do now is go back to the Roblox game and then you'll see there it still says not verified so if you go back up to the cog in the right hand corner and click on settings once it's refreshed you'll see now it says the email is now verified let's go ahead and set up the security settings so the first thing we're going to do is configure step verification improve your account security a code will be required when you log in from a new device and to enable this it's really simple you just select the slider switch until it turns green and this will enable it and you'll get confirmation to say this has now been enabled and you'll also receive an email we now want to go ahead and enable the account pin this is a great feature as it allows you to set up a pin number which is required if you want to change over any of the security or privacy settings and this means that your child can't accidentally change the settings over without you being aware they will need a pin number to do this so go ahead and enter a pin number confirm your pin number and click on add and success there you go so now click on ok and what you will find in the top corner there you'll see a padlock which means that a pin number has now been enabled and you'll need to enter the pin now should you require to change over any of the settings so we're now going to talk you through account restrictions so go ahead and select the slider to enable account restrictions you're now required to enter the pin number that you set up to allow you to edit these settings select unlock so go ahead and select 
privacy. Now, enabling account restrictions will lock an account's contact settings so no other user can send messages, chat in-app or in-game, or find the account by its phone number. None of these contact settings can be individually adjusted when account restrictions are turned on. So as you can see, all these settings have been defaulted to no one. By disabling the account restrictions, it allows you to set up custom settings within privacy. And what this allows you to do is, depending on the age of your child and what responsibilities you want them to have within the game, it just allows you to set that feature up. So as you can see in this scenario, I'm quite happy with my child talking to friends. However, who can chat with me, I'm going to keep that to no one. Again though, this is down to personal preference and we would always recommend to sit down with your child just to highlight your concerns regarding the game and you know how you just want to look after their digital well-being and their safety while they're online. So as you can see the chat window is still appearing, however if your child selects the chat window it will go straight to the privacy settings and as we've set up a pin these won't be able to be changed over without the child knowing the pin number. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more parental how to guides or leave a comment on what you'd like to see guidance on and we'll see what we can do. NetAngel content is designed for parents by parents.